Survival can become a challenging task in the wild, especially if you are smaller or slower than your possible predators. That's why many wild animal species have developed different ways of animal camouflage throughout evolution period. Ways of animal mimicry depends mostly on three factors, the physiology, the behavior of animal and the predation. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you about the 10 most amazing camouflage techniques shown by different animals. So let's begin the countdown. Owls As you know, owls are mostly active at night. During the day, they usually stay hidden in trees. They are very hard to see. They keep their eyes closed. If you look at the pictures of camouflaged owls, their eyes are the easiest thing to see. Owls are meat-eating birds, so don't depend on camouflage as many as other animals. Instead, the other animals use camouflage to protect themselves from being eaten by owls. Willow Ptarmigan the willow ptarmigan is distinguished by its use of camouflage as protection against predators, changing its plumage from light brown in summer to snow white in winter. Another distinctive feature, its feathered feet, helps this bird negotiate the frozen ground. Ptarmigan are sociable in winter and usually feed and roost close together in the snow. In spring, they travel to their breeding grounds in flocks of several thousands. Stick insects Stick insects are so named for their effective camouflage among the woody plants where they feed. They are typically brown, black or green with thin stick-shaped bodies that help them blend in as they perch on twigs and branches. Referring to their resemblance to the vegetation while in fact being animals, their natural camouflage makes them difficult for predators to detect. Frogs Frogs are highly adaptable and use this camouflage to evade predators. Its body shape is flattened to help it blend in with flat rocks in the ponds and other small slow-moving bodies of water it lives in. The back of its skin is grayish green with blotches of brown and green to give its immortal appearance. Bullfrogs don't just use their camouflage to hide from predators, they also are adept hunters. Lying in wait for prey with their camouflage, they blend in with their surroundings. Leaf Tail Gecko Predators can hardly notice this unusual reptile among the branches and leaves due to excellent camouflage. Leaf Tail Gecko is even able to flatten the body to reduce its shadow. Leaf Tail Gecko opens its jaws and exposes its bright red mouth to frighten the predators when it's cornered. Leaf Tail Gecko can be grey brown, green brown, or black in color. Its skin has a rough texture that resembles either bark of a tree or leaf. Depending on the species, some leaf-tailed geckos are covered with spines. Catidids Catidids display remarkable adaptations for defense, a consequence in part of their generally poor flying ability which leaves them highly vulnerable to predation. Cryptically colored species which blend in with the environment rely primarily on the mimicry of vegetation. The peacock catidid, for example, precisely mimics the decoloration of a dead leaf. Seahorse A master of camouflage, this fab fish can be incredibly difficult to spot. Camouflage not only helps the seahorse avoid predators such as crabs or other fish, it helps it to be a predator too. Feeding on small crustaceans, seahorses are super skilled ambush predators. Seahorses are fish. They live in water, breathe through gills and have swim bladder. However, they don't have caudal fins and have long snail-like tail. Baron Caterpillar The Baron Caterpillar uses camouflage to avoid being seen by predators. It occurs in India and Southeast Asia and is well camouflaged on green leaves. It looks like a bunch of pine needles when it's not resting on a green leaf. The species is usually found on mango tree leaves and can be considered a pest. Baron Caterpillars evolved their elaborate shapes and color for that single reason that can show their relationship with the mango farmers. Tropidaderus children eye. These relatively large stick insects generally measure about 110 mm in length. During the adulthood, the children eye insects mates more than once and female lay eggs its whole life as an adult. From winter to autumn, the eggs will hatch forming an army of baby insects. They usually live in eucalyptus tree as their main source of food is the leaves of this tree. 
They also have a long yellow strip that runs down the center of their bodies which exactly matches the color of the vein. This helps them to prevent them from being eaten by their enemies. This was it for today guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a like for this video. See you in the next video.